Hi everybody, it's Auntie Jane. I'm here to do our craft today and it is our third day of VBS. I can't believe how fast it's going. So did you get to meet Sissy the Sea Star? She was really cute and she had sunglasses too. I like that part. Right now I'm preheating our oven. So the first thing we're gonna do is your mom or dad or whoever's in charge today of this is going to set the oven to 250 degrees. It'll be hot, but that's not real hot for baking. And it's going to cook for two hours, so it's a slow, kind of low cook. All right, we're going to get our stuff together. In your bag, you should have a bag that has two cups of flour. If you're doing this at home and don't have a bag, you just measure two cups of flour and one cup of salt and a cup of water. Okay, really simple recipe. This is going to be a salt dough, okay? So it's a dough, like bread dough, but you don't eat it because there's a whole cup of salt in there. You know, normally when you bake, you're only using like a little teaspoon or half a teaspoon of salt. So imagine a cup, it's gonna be really salty. Don't eat it, okay? So I've got my flour in there and my salt. It's coming next, one whole cup of salt, whoa. They use the salt because it helps um, in the curing and drying of this to make like a clay so it will get really hard, okay? It'll be harder than um, like how bread would turn out. Okay, so I'm gonna take my fork and I'm gonna kind of mix it around, you see? I'm gonna get that salt all kind of all through there. Very good. And make a little, a little well, okay? It's kind of like a little hole you won't actually get a hole, but pour that into the middle, half of it, and start stirring, okay? We're gonna stir, can you see through this bowl? I got a glass bowl, so I was hoping you could see. All right, we're gonna stir, mm-hmm. That's got it going. Now I better add some more. It's still got a lot of dry flour in there. Okay, now we'll stir up. Gotta work it. Once it starts getting almost together, you may want to switch from a fork to a mixing spoon, okay? It's a little stronger. It'll help you press it out, okay? And you're going to mix this. It might take a little while, but you're going to keep mixing it. If you start noticing that there's still too much flour, you can get a little more water and put it in, all right? But if you mix it for a while, it should start to come together, okay? And when you think all the flour is done, then you can take your hands and you can get in there and start mixing it with your hands, okay? Now I'm gonna move over to my other bowl to show you what it looks like when you finish kneading it. That's the fun part. So if you have brothers and sisters, let everybody have a chance of like squishing it, okay? Then wash your hands off and your dough is gonna be like this, okay? It might be feel a little sticky, if it's too sticky, you, you might need a little more flour, okay? But it should be okay, all right? I'm gonna put it on a little parchment paper, or you can just put it on your counter if you want to, or you may have another kind of um, place, a uh, mat or something that you wanna use. Now, if you have a brother or sister, let's divide that up, okay? Because I don't want you to, one person to use too much dough and there's nothing left for everybody else. I'm gonna put a little pinch of flour on here, okay? That'll help it from sticking to my hand too much or to my roller. I've got my rolling pin. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna flip it again. I should have remind. I should have told you to save a little flour. I'm not sure, but maybe you have a little flour at home. It's real sticky. I've got a very big sea star. You guys have a package that comes with a little. That comes with a pattern for a sea star. I'm gonna have to roll mine out a little bit bigger, okay, if I wanna do that. There's two ways to do this. You can take your pattern for the C star and you can place it on there. You're gonna to have to make sure you've rolled it out enough. I'm gonna roll it a little more because my C star is big, okay? All right, I think your C star is a little smaller than mine. Okay, and I put it on there. Then you can take your toothpick that it came with, all right, and you can kind of draw I'm gonna draw around this, okay? I'm gonna do a little drawing. 
so that I have my five legs from this sea star. All right, we're gonna make our own sissy the sea star. And I'm gonna take it off. And now if you can see that, if you look down at that, okay, you can see the star is there, all right? And then you can take a knife. You just need a butter knife probably is fine. Make sure your mom or whoever's helping you says it's okay for you to use a knife, okay? You're gonna cut this out, cutting my pieces off, okay? That's left over. This one, this one. Ooh. Cut all these pieces off until I have all the legs. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see what's happening. All right, there we go. There's another one, I'm gonna pull that piece off. Pull it away as you finish cutting those little sections out. And there's the last section. Now on a sea star, it doesn't have to be that every um, leg is the same shape, I mean uh, length, okay? So don't, I don't want you to worry about that. If you have flour, you can put a little on your hand and tap this a little bit. All your extra dough, put it in there for one of your brothers or sisters, okay? I'm gonna put a little flour. I'm gonna pick this up. Ooh, this is the hard part. And flip it over, okay? Because I wanna do something special. I'm gonna show you a trick, okay? We're gonna kind of squish it. Get, I want it to be a little fatter, so I'm gonna squish it up a little bit. I'm gonna squish it up, all right? But this is the back of our sea star. I'm gonna take another little piece of dough. I'm gonna roll a ball, okay? Because you know how um, when the sea star is sitting there, it's kind of arched over? If we put a ball under there, then when it, when it cooks, it's gonna have that bump. See that nice bump it has right there? If you want the bump bigger, you could put a bigger ball. Okay, this is gonna be my sea star. Oh, my oven's preheated. It's telling me it's almost ready. All right, so that's um, our sea star. And now we can uh, make some little dots on it. Cause usually you see little dots in there. I'm gonna make some dots. Yeah, you can do any kind of pattern you want. I'm gonna do it real simple because we're, we're on the clock here people and we gotta get this thing done so you can get on with all your other lessons and your snack. I wonder what kind of snack you're gonna have today. Just thinking about it's making me hungry. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be my sea star. That's how I did, I just did some dots. Now choose the top of your sea star. Which one's gonna be the top? Make sure it's a fat one, a fat arm, okay? Stick your toothpick in there and you see what I'm doing, okay? I'm making that a big fat hole in there. That's the biggest hole that I'm gonna make. Now you can kind of see how big that hole is. That's gonna be, so we can put a little string on there if we want and hang it up. Cause I think you're gonna fall in love with your sea star. Okay, the next thing to do is to bake your sea star, okay? It's ready. I'm gonna take my sea star. I have this, as, this kind of paper is special. It's called parchment paper, okay? If you have foil, you use foil, but you can put yours straight on your pan, okay? If it was on your table and you need to pick it up, just pick it up really carefully, okay? Or maybe use a spatula. But you wanna get your sea star on there. Shape his legs how you want. I think I want mine to be a little, a little curled this way. Have you ever seen that with a sea star? There. Oh, I curled the one that's on the top. I gotta make that hole nice. Okay, here it is. It's gonna go in the oven. And remember what I said, the oven is 250 degrees and it's gonna go in there for two hours. That's a long time, set your timer. And don't forget that the oven's on, okay? And it should dry out. When, you're, when you take your sea star out, you're gonna need to cool it off, but you can also check the back. If the back still is soft dough, then you could try flipping it over and leaving it in a little longer. But anyways, I'm gonna put it in there now. Okay, sea star, it's over. And I set my timer for two hours. All right, now, let's pretend magically two hours has passed and I've taken my sea stars out of the oven. Okay, this one is done, all right? Now I've taken a little ribbon 
okay? And I've strung it through there. I like it just like that. Just the plain color of a normal sea star, okay? That could be Sissy the Sea Star, don't you think? Making my table messy. But there's something else you can do. In your kit, remember when we did our water, our vi, our ocean in the bottle? We have some blue food coloring. Or we can use our watercolors that came in our kit. So I just took water and my brush and I used the blue. <laughs> All my watercolors are almost gone. Okay, I used the blue and I just painted it until I got the color I wanted. Now that'll make it a little bit wet on top, so you're gonna wanna sit it outside to dry or put it back in the warm oven for a while, okay? So as soon as it's done in the oven and it's cooled off, don't touch it when it's hot, okay? Then you can decide if you wanna have a colored sea star, like that. All right, so we've made our sea stars. Do you like them? I'm gonna put them right here. I'm pretty excited. I don't know if you're gonna color yours or not, but I hope you'll take a picture and send it to Auntie Devana and post it so we can see it. Remember, today's word is, our Bible point is, God is our provider. And he, um, that's a blessing to me because there's so many things we need. We need shelter, our parents need jobs, sometimes we need a car to go places, we need food, and he's our provider. Oh. That's not two hours. <laughs> Anyways, remember our Bible verse today, okay? And it's Philippians 4.19. And my God will meet all your needs according to his riches of his glory in Jesus Christ. So I want you to take out your Bible verse. When you get that uh, Sissy the Sea Star card, it's going to be on there. Okay, and I want you to try to memorize that one. And, um, and I'm gonna miss you for the rest of the day, but next uh, we're gonna be day four, and we're gonna make another exciting project tomorrow, and I hope to see you then. Love you, and Jesus loves you too. <laughs>